Absolutely. We've been a little bit unlucky as far mm -hmm. as kind of the pattern or upper air pattern, yeah. which has been pulling that smoke into our region. Really, it's high pressure far up to our north, and it basically is rotating clockwise, and that is pulling the smoke down into West Michigan and other portions of the Midwest. Again, uh, typically don't see this setup. Earlier in the year, we had a different blocking pattern, which kept that wildfire smoke in place. But this time around, we might see a little bit of a shift. These small lines that you can see in the blue contour indicates those winds. And again, as Matt mentioned, we'll see a shift in that, which will hopefully uh, help our pattern in the long range, but we do know that it'll come back as we get a little bit closer to that event. Do you want to point out that wildfires are still ablaze really across the area and will continue to burn in Canada, not seeing any end in sight for the time being. 480 active fires right now, 239 of those are deemed out of control. Again, I did, was able to speak with Canadian National Resources earlier today, and here's kind of how we got to this point. Canada, we were in a lot of places across the country, very, very dry in uh, very early spring. And that really kickstarted things off. So as soon as you have that dry conditions, it dries out the fuels, what's burning in the forest fire. So then all you need is ignition and then some, you know, hot and windy uh, weather to spread that fire. And, and this is kind of where we ended up. Now, Dr. Lynn Johnston did mention that this is a record-breaking year for them already. As mentioned, over 400 fires still burning, 19 million acres burned so far, and the peak fire season typically lasts through August, but again, we can see these fires still burning through the winter months. Michelle?